Hi guys, my name is Peter and welcome to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure Tailwind CSS for your HTML project. So right now I am in Tailwind's official website, which is tailwindcss.com. And uh, the first thing that you got to do is to click on the get started button. And by default, you will be in uh, the Tailwind CLI section. So the installation process of uh, Tailwind is basically a five step process. And here you can see we also have got a framework guide. So if you want to configure Tailwind for any sort of framework, you can come here. So I have already made a video on how we can configure Tailwind CSS for your React project. So if you guys are stuck there, you can check that video out. So now let's come back to Tailwind CLI. So before getting onto the installation process of Tailwind, let us basically set up our project. So right here, I have opened up an MD project named as Tailwind CSS. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that I want to create a folder named as src. And inside the folder, I want to create a file named as index.html. And another file named as input.css. All right. And uh, the next step is to configure the package.json. Uh, since we are installing Tailwind CSS as a dependency, so we need package.json. So let's come to the terminal and I want to enter npm in it and dash dash s. All right, so we have got our package.json file and uh, the next step is to install Tailwind CSS. So let's go back to our web page and let's copy up the first command and let's paste and run it on the terminal. All right. And now let's run the second Tailwind command. So this is going to create the tailwind.config.js file, which is going to help us to basically extend the functionality of Tailwind CSS. As you can see, we have got the tailwind.config.js file. And uh, the next step is to update the tailwind.config.js file. So all we got to do is to copy this particular content from here. Let's go back to tailwind.config.js file. And let us replace this particular content with the copied one. All right, let's save it. Let's go back to the website. And uh, here we need to add this directives to, to the CSS file. So let's copy it from here. Let's go to our input.css and let's paste it and save it. Let's go back. And now let's start the Tailwind CLI build process. So let's copy it. And let's paste and run it on the terminal. And as you can see that currently it is running. So each time I save it, you can see that it rebuilds it. Now let's see whether Tailwind CSS is working perfectly fine on our project. So to do that, let's go back to the website and copy this particular boilerplate from here. Let's paste it on our index.html file. Let's save it. And since I have already installed live server, I'm going to directly open it via the live server. And here you can see that Tailwind CSS is working perfectly fine. So let's add some more uh, uh, classes and see if it is working. So I'm going to add uh, a background color of red. Let's save it. And you can see we have got a background color. Let's change the text color to white. So I'm going to enter text dash white. Let's save it. The text color is white. Let's send the text. So text dash sender. Let's save it. So the text is in the center. Let's add a bit of padding. All right. So as you can see, it is pretty easy to style a website using Tailwind CSS. So this is all you got to do to set up Tailwind CSS for your HTML project. So the tailwind.config.js file uh, is where you basically add in functionalities. For example, if you want to extend uh, the width to a specific width that you want, you basically put it inside the uh, extend section. So giving you guys an example right here. So this particular section that is the spacing and inside the spacing object, we have got 128 and uh, a value assigned to it. So what this means is that this is basically an extension to the width. So whenever I enter W-128 inside any sort of uh, class, it is going to equate to a width of 32 RAM. So this is how you add specific requirement inside tailwind.config.js file. Consider another example where you need to add a specific height of 50 RAM. All you have to do is add the height and inside the height you can specify this particular 
key value prayer. So what this means is that whenever I enter h dash hundred, it's going to equate to a height of fifty rem. You can add any sort of value here. It is basically a user defined value. You can uh, basically specify the required value that you want. So this is how you extend an existing functionality in Tailwind CSS. And there's a lot more to do uh, with the Tailwind.config.js file. So that is all about setting up Tailwind CSS for your HTML project. And I really hope that you guys. Uh, understood the process and uh, if you guys have got any sort of doubt you can post that in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to help you so that's it guys thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video